Parker, Tori Amos. Now, she flew all the way out here to Los Angeles just to be interviewed with the Name Your Adventure producers. Now, what she doesn't know is that she's been chosen to actually go on the adventure. She's having lunch with them right now. Let's go inside and surprise her. Hello, hello, hello. Now, who's Allison? Hey. Allison. How are you doing, Hi. Allison? This must Hi. be your sister. Yeah. Right, how are you doing? What's your name? Jennifer, nice to meet you. So what's up? What are you guys just having lunch? Uh, yeah. Now, wait a second. I have to ask you a question. Now, are you a big fan of uh, Tori Amos? Yeah. Now, what would you think if uh, we got to go to a concert with her and spend time before, backstage with Tori, hang out with her, maybe get a little lesson or something? Would that be cool? Yeah, very. You think so? Yeah. All right, well, then let's do it. What? <laughs> Let's do it. You could be an adventurer. This would be our adventure. How does that sound? Your adventure specifically, pardon Great. me. Great. <laughs> sound good? Are you joking? I'm not joking. She's having a concert tonight. Really? She's having a concert tonight. She wants you to come and hang out with her. Yeah, that's fine. Good deal. Well, then let's go. We gotta get going. She don't want to make it later. <laughs> so this is a trip. I don't believe this. Isn't that neat? Wow. I think it's true. You know what I wanted to ask you is how long have you been interested in, uh, in singing? I've been singing since two and a half, three. Really? Anytime I get a chance, I'm always up there singing. Are, do you take lessons, or is there, is this just the passion that you want to pursue? Oh, yeah. Or... I'm taking voice lessons, choir, chorus, you name it, I'm in it. Really? This and... is definitely what I want to do. You bet your life it is. At the front entrance, but you know what? We don't need to be here because we're going through the backstage. Okay. Come on. Let's go. What do you think? Isn't this neat? How'd you like to be performing here one day? Oh, I'd love it. This is I'm coming here to perform, definitely. And you and you wouldn't get nervous if those oh. seats were all filled up? All right. Well, hey, let's go to her dressing room. Okay, she should be go. there. Tori Amos. It's her dressing room. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Tori. Now it's formal. Oh, wow. the formal thing going. I'm spending the day with Tori Amos. I feel like the luckiest person in the world. I can't believe that just a regular person like me would be able to come and do this wonderful adventure and be able to spend some time with a huge, huge person in my life and a real inspiration to me. Ask me anything you want. I mean, I hope I do the right answers. But... Good deal. Good deal. You have any questions for me? Okay. Well, yeah, the, the sound check. Um, what's the purpose for that? Um, I have no idea what it's going to sound like when I'm on stage. And it's all about balances of the piano, how much piano I have. I think I'm Metallica, actually, so I have very yeah. loud monitors to get the balance right so that when I'm singing, uh -huh. I'm totally supported. And the important thing is if your monitors aren't good, you lose your voice. Oh, see, I didn't know awesome. that. So you think maybe we can go over to the piano room? Absolutely. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Have you been playing since you were a little thing? Or how a many? very wee thing. Really? Where my little feet, I, it was like this. It, is it something you always wanted to do? Or did your mom kind of just kind of push you in? Or no. This was a passion. My mother wanted me to clean my room, and all I wanted to do was play the piano. <laughs> and, um, I play. I was playing about eight, nine hours a day when I was a little tot all the time. That's all I did. Uh, same thing with uh, Allison. She, you also have that passion. I know you've been doing it since you were a little girl. And why don't you, why don't you sing a little something for Tori? Sing something. And Tori, and Tori, you know. It's like, pinch me, am I asleep? It was, it was so awesome. I mean, at first I started to wonder, will I be good enough for her? And then as I started singing her song, she just kind of smiled at me. And I thought, it doesn't matter if I sound like her. I have my own style, I mean, even though it's her song. And it just really calmed me down, and, and I felt a lot better. And it was so awesome, I'll never forget it. Chills. <laughs> so do I. Wow. Wow. 
is really cool, Allison. And now I notice um, your lyrics seem so meaningful. How important are they to you as far as uh, getting certain messages across to, to your fans and to the younger people of our generation, if you will? I write about things that I hide from myself and just this place that doesn't get dealt with much. And at a certain point, um, you know, you have to write about it or, or it just stays locked up inside. So writing about it, my songs become my teachers. Tori, what, what about the, uh, I heard about this rain, like it's a, some sort of project? Or um, I got so many letters from mostly young women who hadn't dealt with their personal experience, whether it was incest or whether it was rape. And I can't really tell you how many letters we got. It was, it's sad to tell you how many. So we got this 800 number and they can call um, without anybody tracing the call. So if they want their privacy, nobody knows and they have somebody to talk to. It might be the first step, but it's, it's uh, a big step. Tori and Rain, that's just wonderful that she can give girls who've gone through when she went through a chance to come forward. I mean, you can tell that when she was talking about her lyrics and where she gets her inspiration from, that was all definitely from the heart. What a beautiful time. Oh, Thank you. So time, Tori. You gotta go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let him go. Mm. Have a great show. Okay, okay. everybody. <laughs> you come into the show. Yes. I'll great, be there. Great, great. that I want to know is how do you get discovered well there are like loads of things involved in that I mean yeah you got to have a little bit of luck the more times so that you put yourself out there there's so many times that I wanted to quit and wanted to stop I, I can't tell you I was told for seven and a half years um, that this girl and her piano thing was never gonna happen never never gonna happen what do they know, those people? Can stop what's coming, can stop what is on its way. She really inspired me to always speak my mind. She did it, she never gave up, even though people told her, you're not gonna make it. This is just a dream, it's never gonna come true. And she stuck with it. I think if I can stick with it, then maybe I'll have a chance at it too, because there's no way I'm ever giving up. That concert was awesome. It was so awesome, I'll never forget it. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Thank you again, Tori. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. I'll be coming to your concert. Okay. I'll be there. Good deal. We'll hook you up. Okay, guys. Bye. 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 All right. All right. It's cool. We're gone. Yes. All right.